Hey everyone, welcome to this Ladybug Magic Mushroom Acrylic Painting lesson. I'm Mike Ferris and I'll be showing you the step-by-step -step painting process. So stay tuned to the end so you don't miss any lesson details. Also, check out the description box below for a list of colors and materials. Now let's get started. So starting off, I have an 11 by 14 inch hardboard canvas, but you can use any size you'd like. And on my palette, I've got Thalo Blue, Raw Umber, Cad Orange, Cad Yellow, and here is Titanium White as always. So I'm gonna mix up some of this blue and some of this raw umber, and a little white in that. And then also inside that, I would like to put a little bit of this Cad Yellow just to warm it up a bit, and a little bit more white. And I wanna start with this sort of bluish color. Okay, so now some cad yellow with just a touch of that raw umber in there and a little bit of white and this will make sort of this dull army green that's lightened up a little bit by titanium white and this is just background tones you can make this however you want it's just a blurred tones of just blues and greens and a little bit of orange which we'll be putting in here in a little bit so now i just without cleaning my brush just going into some more phthalo blue and white and i'm just going to add another little blue tone here and there Now just going into Thalo Blue and a little bit of Cad Yellow and I want this more vibrant green so the darker colors are out this time. And I've got my two inch flat brush and that just helps cover more ground. And so with that I'm just going to put this more vibrant green here on the bottom and just sort of blend that up a little bit. So now I'm going to stick a little raw umber in there to dull it down again, a little bit of more titanium white and I want it brighter. And so with this light, duller green here, I'm gonna just go over the top of this other vibrant green and just sort of blend that into each other a little bit. And then just sort of take it up and put a little bit more white as I come up more to the top. Now going into some cad orange here and a little bit of phthalo blue and that just dulls that down and gives it sort of a brownish sort of orangey color to it. And then now some cad orange, or I'm sorry, cad yellow into that to warm it up. And now some titanium white. So I want this dull sort of warm orange color. And that's a little bit more vibrant. So I'm just going to put some titanium white on my brush without cleaning. And that just knocks it down a little bit. And it just makes it more subtle. And so with that, I'm just going to sort of blend this here and there. Okay, now with my clean two inch flat brush, I've got some phthalo blue and a little touch of black in there and some titanium white. And I just want to take this dull sort of blue color that's lightened up here and just sort of go here and there. So now just giving it a quick dry on medium heat with the hair dryer and then I'll be transferring my image with some wax paper. I did have to use black wax, tra uh, wax transfer paper, that's a mouthful, because the white just wasn't showing up in some areas. So now this is the image. If you want to pause, these are one inch squares, again on 11 by 14 inch canvas with two papers taped together on the back. And this is the layout. So now starting off, I've got white, I've got raw umber, I've got violet, and permanent black. And with my 3 8 angle brush, I'm starting off with a little white and a touch of permanent black and some of that violet in there just to calm it down a little bit. And it's sort of an off-white with that. And so this will be the base coat for the tops of the mushrooms. Now going into some violet and just a touch of black into there to dull it down and some titanium white and not much and I want it darker of course and with this color it's going to start with the top details. And with my number two flat brush just a little bit of titanium white on my brush and I'm just going to go over some of this lavender stuff and just settle some of that down. Thank you. 
Now grabbing that darker lavender color that's still down with that black and less titanium white. So now I'm getting a clean brush and a little bit of cat orange and some phthalo blue in there to dull it down. And a little bit of white into that. And with that, I'm gonna start going into the underneath part. And without cleaning my brush, just putting a little bit of that yellow into it and titanium white. And with that, I'm just gonna change it just a little bit and just start creating some of these underneath details. Now going into some cad yellow and to that just a little teeny touch of black just to dull it down and mostly titanium white and I'm looking for this very dull yellow bright color and with that I'm going to fill in this bottom part here and notice how I'm keeping a gap in between and letting some of that darker orange stuff show and that just helps to create the details and shows that part of it that's getting more direct light to hit it. Okay, and I haven't really cleaned my brush, and so with that, I'm just taking some of that dull orange color that's a little bit of phthalo blue and that cat orange, and just a little white to that, and I'm just taking some of that darker color now and going back in with some of these stem details. So I did put a little titanium white on my brush for the underneath to dust it in and to settle things down a little bit, and now with a clean brush and just pure titanium white, I wanna make the tops of the mushrooms just a little bit brighter. So now to create a separation from the top and the bottom, I'm gonna create this little shadow right here underneath using that violet and a touch of black and just a little bit of white. And I wanted to keep this darker than the other stuff. And now with that color still on my brush, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of those on some of these stem details underneath. And I'm just gonna vary colors back and forth and sort of blend some colors together. And now it's just titanium white with a clean brush and just a teeny bit of that color on my brush. I don't want much. I kind of want to just scratch over some of that light yellow color from earlier. And now again up top, just a little bit brighter and another coat of this titanium white. And so with that color left on my brush, that titanium white, I'm going to put that right here on the stem and I'll build up some more layers from there. Now just going into cad yellow and cad orange and with that mixture just a little touch of phthalo blue into that and then a little bit of titanium white and I want this to be a little bit darker of this brown orangey color and underneath this mushroom I'm going to go ahead and scratch that in just here and there. Now grabbing some cad red along with a little bit of cad orange into that. And then just a touch of raw umber just to darken it down. And this will be sort of like an Indian red color that I'm gonna put on the stems. Now just grabbing a little bit more raw umber into that. And this is just gonna get darker as I move down the stem. And I'm just picking up some more cad red to make this brighter and then without cleaning my brush just a little bit of cad yellow and cad orange into that and a little bit of titanium white I want to make this really bright sort of orangey yellow color and I want to make this transition and just lightly brush that between the white and down and tone to the red a little bit and now with a clean brush again just hitting the tops with some titanium white
Okay, now picking up some violet and a touch of black. And again, I got a little bit of that white left in there. And I'll put a little bit more. And with this light lavender dull color here, I'm just gonna go ahead and start blocking in for this back mushroom right here. Okay, now just taking some cad yellow, a little touch of black to that and some titanium white, and that's gonna be the underneath light dull yellow color for this. And while it's still on my brush down here underneath this one as well. Now going back to that orange and phthalo blue mixture and this time not as much titanium white. And with this darker shade just here and there just gonna be closer to the indication of where the darkest shadow is. Okay, now with just titanium white, and I'm gonna go for the top of this mushroom and put in just the different stem line details. And with a little bit of that color left on my brush, I'm just gonna lightly dust it down and sort of make this soft. And then now I'm picking up a little bit more titanium white because I want the top, again, to be a little bit brighter and then to fade out a little bit as it comes down. So now with cad yellow and a little touch of black into that, and there's a little white left on my brush, so with that it's a little bit darker, and these are going to be the under stems again for this. Okay, and now with even less titanium white with that yellow and black mixture, as you can see, it's a little bit darker now, and just want to make this little separation. Okay, now with just titanium white, and right here will be the bright spot of the stem. Now picking up some of that cad red and a little bit of raw umber into that. And that's again that Indian red color and with that I'm just gonna apply that right here on the stem. Okay, now just putting in more cad red into that. And now with this, just gonna go ahead and pick up some violet and a little bit of raw umber. And this is just to make this dark sort of purple color as it comes down. And I want to keep these two stems separate, so notice that little gap there that I put in between. Okay, now getting some cat orange and just a touch of that raw umber into it and just a little base coat there in the center of this stem here. And now a little bit of cad yellow onto it and a little bit of white and above that, just gonna scratch that down into that. And now I'm gonna grab just some cad red now and add that into the mix. And now with a clean brush, just a little bit of titanium white now at the very top. And now I'm just gonna apply some of this titanium white on this mushroom here. and also right here on this stem here on this one. Okay, now I've got magenta and I've got the cad red and with my number six flat, I'm gonna take the cad red now and this will be for blocking in the base coat of the ladybug. Okay, back to my number two flat brush and just permanent black. And with that, I'm gonna block in now for the rest of the body. Okay, now with a clean brush, I'm just taking some titanium white. And this is this little bit of this mushroom that's showing a little bit back there and just a little bit of detail there. And now it's just pure titanium white. Again, I wanna hit the top of this mushroom here. And also I wanna hit the very top one again and just brighten some things up. And one of his back legs right here with permanent black and my number two flat brush and just filling that in.
Okay, after the black dots there and the other details, I'm gonna take this cad red, a little bit of that violet to it, a little touch of black and a little touch of this thalo blue and some titanium white. And this will create this reddish violet color that's sort of dulled down and made a little bit brighter. And with that, I'm just gonna scratch that down the side right here. Okay, now with some cad red and a little bit of permanent black into that, that's gonna be this dark burgundy color. And just here and there with some of that. Okay, and with most of that color off my brush now, just some titanium white and just gonna go down some of this side with some of that. And making a couple hashes here also. Okay, and now with some of this magenta, brighter, more vibrant red, and some white to that. And just here and there, but not everywhere, I'm going to go ahead and apply this and give it some more reflective shine to it. Most of that color off my brush now just mostly titanium white and I'm just gonna go ahead and scratch some of this down and sort of blend it and fade it down and now just picking up pure titanium white and this is gonna be the brightest spot is at the very top and I kind of want to just fade that into that more faded white and make it look like this nice natural light transfer And you can even take your finger and just dab it like so and that'll help to blend everything together and give it that nice transition. And now I'm just playing this cad red back into it here and there. And now going back in with another layer of that magenta red and some white and again just going to brighten it up and just here and there. Okay, and now with some titanium white without cleaning my brush, just gonna scratch in that. And there's one right here. And now with a clean brush, I'm gonna take now just titanium white and put some stripes on the body. And with that white, I'm gonna put this on the stem right here on this back mushroom there. And also in the one in front again, I wanna add more titanium white and brighten that area up as well. And now just a little titanium white and on the edge of some of these legs for some highlights. And now applying some of that dull orange color with phthalo blue and cat orange and a little white right here on this mushroom. And now permanent black for the antenna. And now knocking back some of that highlight with some permanent black on the leg, but notice I'm leaving a lot of it. And that just helps sort of define it more and gives it some more depth and realistic look to it. And now some violet with a touch of black and just a little bit of white in that. And with this dull violet color here, just going to fill in some of this mushroom here. Now with a clean brush, taking titanium white and applying the same methods as the other mushrooms before and adding some details.
Okay, now I'm going to my number 20 flat brush and with that I'm taking violet and permanent black and I'm just gonna fill in this tree branch for a base color. Okay, and now I'm doing that phthalo blue and some orange and a little bit of white for that brown orangey color and with the tip of my number six flat I'm gonna fill in some of these little teeny little mushrooms that are kind of clumped together on the edge of this branch. And with that color on my brush still, I'm gonna just drag some of that right here and I may or may not see that in the end, I'm not too worried about it. And so now I'm taking some cat orange and a little bit of raw umber to that and some white. And with that, I just wanna hit some of the bottom of these mushrooms and some of the stem area. Okay, and now with a clean brush, I'm taking that dull yellow color with a little touch of black into the yellow with the white in it. And I'm gonna have the indication of a little slug over here. And now that same color again with less titanium white to indicate some texture and shadow. Now some titanium white for some highlights. Okay, and now some of this violet color, a little bit of titanium white, a little bit of this cad red into it. And I want this reddish violet color. And with that, I'm just gonna dab it on here and there. And you can do this however you want. Just leave some of that dark in there. And now without cleaning my brush, just picking up titanium white. And again, just gonna dance that here and there for direct highlight. And this is my number six flat brush. Okay, and cat orange, touch of blue in there, that dull orange, a little bit of white into that. And let's invite him to the dance as well on this branch. And let's dance him here and there. And now taking permanent black, and with that I'm just gonna go and knock some of this back. And with this I can also create little crevices and any kind of grain pattern or whatever I want on this which is really cool with these paints and how I knock this back so however you feel you want to knock this stuff back or how you want to play these colors in there just leave some lights some dark some different shades of other colors and with all the variety this will look very realistic So as you saw, some more titanium white was put in some areas, and now again with some black, I'm just gonna go in here and just kind of experiment and see what kind of shapes I wanna create. So with that dull lavender color and more titanium white into it, you can see how I can create some of these raised areas where direct light is gonna be hitting the highest points of some of this bark. And in this way, it kind of helps create more texture and dimension this way. So again, play with this, put some direct highlights in places, knock it back if you don't like it with some of the darker color or take some of that mid dull lavender color with less white in it if you want and just see what you can come up with and do this until you like what you see. So on this branch I'd like to just add that I'm keeping a rule of thumb that I'd like to see on mine more shadow areas on the bottom because it is faced away from the light so it's our shadow side as opposed to more direct white highlights on the very top of the branch. So now with a clean number two flat now, and I'm just going back with just pure titanium white and in some areas where I want it the brightest, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply one final coat for that. And 
Now with that dull yellow color with mostly white, just going to go in here with some direct highlights on this indication of the slug. And now more permanent black here on the branch. Okay, so with my script liner brush now and with lots of water and titanium white, I'm going to sign this piece right here. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and if you found this lesson to be inspirational, enjoyable, and very helpful, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future lessons as I'll be putting regular lessons out every week. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and drop those down below, and I'd love to hear from you guys and interact. So until next time, guys, happy painting.